we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section linear algebra the problem is on inner product the question appeared in csir national eligibility test held on 26th november 2020 it is from the section c and it carries 4.75 marks the problem given is let n be a positive integer and capital f be a non empty proper subset of the set consisting of 1 comma 2 comma etc n define for x is equal to x1 x2 xn y is equal to y1 y2 yn belongs to r power n the inner product of x with y over f is equal to sigma x k y k where k belongs to f let t be the set of all x belongs to r power n such that the inner product of x with x over f is zero which of the following statements are true for any y belongs to r power n y not equal to zero the four options are given the first option is the infimum of the inner product of x plus y with itself x plus y over f where the infimum is taken over all x belongs to t is equal to the inner product of y with y over f and the second option is the supremum of supremum of the inner product of x plus y o with x plus y over f where the supremum is taken over all x belongs to t is equal to the inner product of y with y over f the third option is the infimum is less than the inner product of y with y over f the fourth option is the supremum is greater than the inner product of y with y over f we note here the the inner product of x with y over f it is defined as sigma x k y k k belongs to f that is it is defined as the standard inner product restricted to the components of x and y corresponding to the indices of f x k y k where k belongs to f so these are the components components and restricted to the indices of f we now discuss the solution solution given n is a positive integer let s be the set consisting of the elements 1 2 3 up to n we have y is a non empty subset of s and y is a proper subset of s and y is a subset of s and y not equal to s and thereby f will be a proper subset of s f is a non empty proper subset of s given for x is equal to x1 x2 xn belongs to r power n y is equal to y1 y2 yn belongs to r power n the inner product of x with y over f is equal to sigma x k y k k belongs to f let f be the set consisting of i1 i2 im the indices be any proper subset of s where m greater than or equal to 1 m less than n that means m is a non empty proper subset of s with the indices i1 i2 im now t is equal to the set of all x belongs to r power n such that the inner product of x with x over f is equal to 
it is the set of all those x belongs to r power n the inner product of x with x over f is defined as sigma sigma x i k square where sigma runs over k is equal to 1 to m and that is equal to 0 and uh, sigma k is equal to 1 to m x x i k square is equal to 0 sums of squares is equal to 0 then each component is 0 that means the x i k will be 0 for k is equal to 1 to m so therefore the set of all those x is equal to x1 x2 xn belongs to r power n where x i k is 0 for k is equal to 1 2 up to m that means x i 1 is 0 x i 2 is 0 x i m is 0 we continue in the next slide let uh, y belongs to r power n y not equal to 0 for any x belongs to t we have x is a n tuple y is a n tuple x plus y is an n tuple consisting of the components x1 plus y1 comma x2 plus y2 comma xn plus yn note that x i case are 0 x i1 is 0 x i2 is 0 x i m is 0 in this and the inner product of x plus y with itself over f by definition is x i x j plus y j jth component multiplied by x j plus y j jth component of x plus y where j belongs to f this will be this will be equal to this will be equal to by definition it is the sigma k is equal to 1 to m x i k plus y i k multiplied by x i k plus y i k why the inner product is restricted to the components of f the components of f are i1 i2 i m so therefore x i k plus y i k multiplied by x i k plus y i k where i k is coming from f it amounts to say sigma k is equal to 1 to m and that is equal to multiply it is equal to sigma k is equal to 1 to m x i k square plus 2 times sigma k is equal to 1 to m x i k y i k plus sigma k is equal to 1 to m y i k square in all these things each x i k x i 1 x i 2 x i m each is 0 so this is 0 and x i 1 x i 2 x i m is 0 multiplied by y i k is 0 and the sum is 0 so this is 0 this is 0 it remains only this so this is equal to sigma k is equal to 1 to m y i k square since x belongs to t that means x i k is 0 for k is equal to 1 to m so it is sigma k is equal to 1 to m y i k square means it is the inner product of y with y over f now this the inner product is taken over f where x is for any x belongs to t so thus the inner product of x plus y with its with itself over f is the inner product of y with y over f and this is true for all x belongs to t for all x belongs to t and the outcome y comma y the inner product of y comma y over f does not depend on x therefore the the infimum of all such inner product inner product of x plus y with itself over f where x belongs to t if you take the infimum that is y comma y only because it is not depending on x so th therefore the infimum of x plus y with itself over f where the infimum is taken over all x belongs to t is the inner product of y with y over f and so also supremum because the outcome is not depending on x so supremum of x plus y with respect with with itself over f where the supremum is taken over all x belongs to t is the inner product of y with y with respect over the over the set f or the set f so we have these options in these options uh, uh, option one and option two are, are true 
the options 1 and 2 are true and thereby the options 3 and 4 are not true. Our answer is options 1 and 2 are true. So that is the discussion of the solution of the problem that is given in the national eligibility test and the problem is on inner product. I hope that you have understood the solution of it and I wish you all the best. Thank you.